Okay, so good day everyone. So our uh, lessons for this day is about the situational problems involving circular functions. Learning outcomes of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, the students are able to solve situational problems involving circular functions. Uh, yung ating outline about the situational problems involving circular functions. Okay, repeated, repeated, uh, ulit. Repetitive or periodic behavior is common in nature. The time-telling device known as sundial is a result of the predictable rising and setting of the sun every day. It consists of a flat plate and a uh, Nomon. At the sun moves across the sky. The nomon casts a shadow on the plate, which is calibrated to tell the time of the day. Magbigay tayo ng sample nito, tinatawag na, na, na sun diet. Uh, some motions are also periodic. For example, uh, when a weight is suspended on a spring, pulled down and released, the weight uh, oscillates up and down, neglect, neglecting resistance. This oscillatory motion of the weight will continue on and on, and its height is periodic with respect to time. So, ito yung nakikita nyo ngayon na Images, yung mga example na natawag natin na simple harmonic motions. Periodic motions are usually modeled by either sine or cosine function and are called simple harmonic motions and impeded uh, movements of objects like oscillations, vibration, rotation, and motion due to the water waves are real-life occurrences that behave in simple harmonic motion. Okay, so we have the equation of simple harmonic motion. The displacement y directed height or length of an object behaving in a simple harmonic motion with respect to time. Time t is given by one of the following equations. Ito yung gagamitin natin equation na. Y equals A sine P times T minus C plus D or pwede rin naman yung quotient uh, or yung cosine Y equals A cosine B times the quantity of t minus c plus d. So, tingnan natin yung mga information ng mga ginagamit natin constant. So, yung a natin, that is the absolute value of a, that is for amplitude. To get the amplitude, we have the one half of quantity big M minus small m. The maximum displacement above and below the rest position or central position or equilibrium. So, yung big M natin, yun ang maximum height. At yung small M natin ang minimum height. Okay? So, yun yung uh, constant A natin. Then, for constant B, we, we are use constant B for finding the period of the wave. So, we have the period of uh, equals to 2 pi over absolute value of B. The time required to complete one cycle from one highest or lowest point to the next. And magagamit din natin yun para makuha naman yung frequency, yung ating constant B, para makuha naman yung frequency, we have the ratio of absolute value of B over 2 pi. And that's the number of cycles per unit of time. Yun tinatawag natin frequency. At yung constant C naman, that is responsible for horizontal shift in time. And the constant D, responsible naman siya para sa vertical shift. Okay? 
Ay, ito yung ating equation. Okay, let's cite an example. Example 1. So, a weight is suspended from a spring and is moving up and down in a simple harmonic motion. At the start, the weight is pulled down 5 cm below the resting position and then released. After 8 seconds, the weight uh, reaches its highest location for the first time. Find the equation of the motion. For the solution, uh, we, uh, we are given the weight is located at slowest position. So, ang ating uh, equilibrium I t equals to 0. And that is y equals negative 5. Kasi di ba, down 5 centimeters. So, y equals to negative 5 when t is 0. Therefore, the equation is y equals negative 5 cosine b t. Okay? Y equals negative 5 cosine b t. So, mayroon tayo isang constant na letter b. Because it took the weight 8 seconds from the lowest point to its immediate highest point, diba? from the lowest to highest point, merong uh, 8 seconds. And that stands for, kaso kukuhanin pa natin yung half nun, diba? yung half nun. So half, one half times 2 pi over b, and that's the same with 8. Okay. Para makuha natin yung b, half of 2 pi over b, so simple manipulation lang, yung mga cancel out lang yung 2 and 2. So we have b is equals to pi over 8. So, yung constant b natin, yan ay pi over 8. So, by substitute, substituting the constant b, so we have the equation. So, the equation is in the form of y equals negative 5 cosine pi t all over 8. Kung so, natin yung natawag natin equation. Thus, the equation of the motion is y equals negative 5 cosine pi t over 8. Next example, ito naman, uh, example ng uh, Ferris wheel naman. Suppose you ride a Ferris wheel. The lowest point of the wheel is 3 meters off the ground and its diameter is 20 meters. After it started, the Ferris wheel revolves at a constant speed and it takes uh, 32 seconds to bring you back again to the riding point. After riding for 150 seconds, find your approximate height above the ground. Okay. So, uh, first we ignore the fixed value of 3 meters off to the ground and assume that the center of position passing, passes through the center of the wheel and is parallel to the ground. We let P be the time in seconds elapsed that you have been riding the first wheel. And Y is the direct distance of your location with respect to the Assume central position at time t. Because we have y equals negative 10 with t equals 0. Mula dun sa ating center. Hanggang dito sa kaba, no? So, so negative 10 
negative 10 meters. When t is zero, the approximate appropriate model is y equals negative 10 cosine bt for t greater than or equal to zero. So, ang magiging model natin ngayon or yung equation natin para doon sa ating example na ito ngayon. y equals negative 10 cosine bt. Where t is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, given the Paris wheel takes 32 seconds to move from the lowest point to the next period t is 32. Kasi di ba pag naka one cycle na 32 seconds. Yan yung base sa ating information. Okay, so 32 seconds in one cycle. So we have uh, to find or we are going to use the constant B, 2 pi over B equals 32. Kasi yung 2 pi over B in yung pagkuha natin ng period. 32, yung 32 seconds yung one period. So we have manipulate lang natin to solve B. So we have pi over 16. Okay, so b equals pi over 16. So yun na yung ating magiging uh, b. So for the substitute natin yung b dun sa ating model. So y equals negative 10 equals cosine pi over t equals 16. Or y equals negative 10 cosine pi t over 16. So ngayon, since meron na tayong uh, equation, so lalagyan na natin ng specific time since BB naman yung specific time natin. Diba? Para makuha na natin yung height. So, when t is 150 seconds, given din yan ang ating, uh, ating problem. So, given ng time. We get y equals negative 10 cosine, substitute natin yung value ng t, which is 150. So, 150 pi over 16. So, pag kinapute natin ito, makukuha natin yung approximate 3.83. Pwede nyo siya i-verify using your calculator. So, limitin nyo na yung scientific nyo. Negative 10 to sine 150 pi over 16. Kung ang calculator nyo naka-design for uh, naka-design for degree measure, convert nyo lang itong pi, convert nyo into 180. So, pwede nyo gamitin yung negative uh, 10 Cosine 150 times 180 all over 16. So, makukuha nyo itong approximate natin. Okay. Patingin natin yung ating original condition. So, that the rider riding point is 3 meters off the ground. Yun yung riding point natin. After riding for 150 seconds, you are approximately located Ang location ngayon ay 3.83 plus 13. Bakit 13? Kasi di ba, uh, mula doon sa center, 10 meters yung radius. Kasi ang kanyang uh, diameter ay 20. So, ang radius niya ay 10. Then, meron pang 3 meters off the ground. So, kaya nagkaroon ng 13. Plus yung uh, yung location yung ating 3.83 na nakuha doon sa ating cosine. Finally, ang magiging distance ay 18.83 off the ground. Or 16.83 off the ground. So, yun na yung final answer. Okay. And that's it.